Yes, we're warming up for another party. Unfortunately, we need to learn something small before we continue with the party. I'm sure at this moment, your tempo is being rising up gradually, as you can see. I'm just using this later, the upper row key and the alternate key to raise the tempo of the song, which I'm sure at this point you're connected. But sorry, at this very moment, we need to look at how to arrange this drum sample first. Because the arrangement of the drum sample has really been an issue for a lot of DJs after, after a period of time. Remember, as I said severally, from the perspective of a producer, most of the time, these beats are repetition of sounds. And for you to really have an effective finger drumming pattern like this, you need to understand that your two fingers, your two hands, I mean your two hands are going to be working together. And you cannot do that alone using a particular key. So it means the second hand must be working alongside the other hand. So your two hands must be on deck. Just as a DJ, you remember for you to be an effective DJ, it means your hands are constantly working. And it, it's not going to be only one hand. Whether you are scratching, whether you are playing finger drumming, whether you are crossfading from one track to another. It means one hand will be controlling one thing, another hand will be controlling another thing. But however, before we get to see, let's first look at the arrangement. After seeing the arrangement, then we'll look at how we we'll play it. First, remember this is it. This is drum 3, drum 4, drum 5. These other ones, bongo O, 1H, and then drum 3, drum. So these are repetition. So how we do the arrangement there is, these are my keys on the keyboard. Pay attention. From the concept of the arrangement of your drum samples on your controller, where you see each side has a group of drums, which you are allowed to put in your drums. In this case, our keyboard is not organized in that way. So we need to mimic that particular concept into our keyboard. So how do you do that? We need to make sure that our keys are arranged in a particular pattern, in a particular way that is going to be very easy for us to move our fingers. While you are playing it, you don't need to be struggling to look at what key you are pressing. So that is why we'll be arranging it in this particular pattern now. First, you can pick any grouping of your keyboard. In my own case, I'm using the function keys. You will get to see it. If you are using my mapping, this is an automatic setting for you. You don't need to go through any stress again. These are the function keys up here. You pick them, you arrange them. You have 1 to 12, 12 keys. These 12 keys will be divided into 2. It means 6 from number 7 this way and then from number 6 down. So it means whenever I'm pressing F12, I should be able to have the same sound with F1 since they are repetition of sound. This is what will enable me play the sound the way I want. This is it. You get to see a simple demonstration now. Look at it. You see, because they, ha they have synonymous, it's very easy for me to play around. As I'm playing it continuously, I'm getting more better, much better effective sound. The same thing. So this is how you get to build this particular uh, sound. That is why it's very easy. So you put it in a way that it's very easy for, you, for your fingers to move around. You just see how I just create another complex drum pattern now playing. So this is how you arrange the sounds to make it very easy. We are going to be seeing these drum sample sounds now. However, first I believe at this point you've already gotten your drum samples ready and you also gotten your function keys or whatsoever set of keys. I don't encourage people to use I don't encourage people to use this part of the keyboard because it's going to be very complex since you already have your scratches, your whatsoever here. So if you are going to be complicating issues, the same here with this number keys. These number keys are for loop. So putting anything here is going to be complicated. So arrange it with the function keys which will be very very easy for you. So these are the drum samples now we we'll get to see you look at it here if I bring my mapper here my keyboard here my mouse here, you see, it's telling me talking drum 3, that is part 12, that is part 1. You see, it's telling me sample part 1. If I go to sample part 12, you'll see the same thing. You can see, sample part 12 is the same talking drum 3. This, which is this. So, you see, if I come to part 11, you see, it's telling me talking drum 4. The same thing here, talking drum 4, that is it. You see, if I come to part 3, which is the same with this very one, part 10, 
that is sample part 10 and sample part 3 they have talking drum number 5 this is it if i go to this one this is a unique sound Okay, okay, you can okay, see my okay, okay here. Okay, okay, okay. You can see another one here. So the sounds that I'm not going to be repeating too frequently, I put them at the middle. That is how we do the arrangement. This sounds like this. This one is being repeated, which is bongo 018. That is a look at it here, which is under sample 9 and sample 4. So the ones that are repeated, I put them outside. Then the one that is single is in the middle, just like this. Okay, 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 okay. So that is you can you can add more sounds to it. In my own case, if I want to add, I have another sounds I've added to this, but in this case, not on the immediate. I attach it with control function. If I do control this, listen. Fire! Fire! If I come. If I come to this, Fire. if I come to check, this, check, check out DJ Don Genius on all streaming platforms for more. If I come, so that is how all these things are being arranged. So you get to see how I was able to put up all this together. Then let's get to see the drum samples. I believe at this stage, these are the drum samples that you have. These are the drum samples that you are having. You can see them. This is the drum one. And see it we have drum one drum two drum three drum four drum five so we started with drum, drum three this is drum three it means this is the drum three here drum four this is the drum four drum five this is the drum five no drum six we have a host of other sounds inside the same folder so look at them there are a lot of sounds it depends on how the kind of style you want to introduce so as much as you want to maximize the space that you have you need to be conscious of the fact that your flexibility and your efficiency in what you do really matters so you have to be conscious of that don't just try to copy things ignorantly try to make the best use of it that's why i'm putting all these things out for you there so that is it for this very one you can see everything is simple and straight for this is a short txt format for it you can see it here can see the sound effect here f1 drum 3 drum 4 drum 5 then the bongo the bo bongo 018 the same thing here bo bongo 018 and then other sounds follow it could be your own dj drop name and whatever drone uh, name that you want so that's how we do it so I'm sure at this very point, I think you don't have any problem when it comes to this very aspect of putting all these things together. So thanks for being there. We will continue to give you the very best. If you haven't gotten the drum samples, you can check the description box just for a little token. I think it's worth it. Most people think it's a waste of money. By the time you put this and you practice it and believe in the next two, three months, you yourself, you'll be happy with yourself that you take that decision. So thanks for being once again. Keep a date as I continue to bring you more value, more content. And I see how you be, not just become the regular DJ, but a DJ that can stand out at any point in time. You will be happy with yourself when you get to an event. The next day they are calling you to come for another one. Than to go for an event and rather than being happy that they are being called, you are now giving, feeling bad that ah, what exactly did you do wrong? You see, you see? You, others are going forward, you will be remaining in that particular stage until you get tired. When you think your money is too important for you to protect it, then protect it. If you think information is not is not important, then don't spend to get any information. You will leave sooner or later to wish you take that decision. And when you will be crying, it's going to be too late for you. Nobody will be coming to your help again. Thank you for being. So let's get over to the DJ mixes now. Continue to enjoy ourselves. <music>